GS5885 is a novel NS5A inhibitor with picomolar potency. The safety and pharmacokinetics in healthy volunteers supports once daily administration. The objective of this trial was to evaluate the safety, PK, and antiviral activity of GS5885 in patients infected with genotype 1 chronic hepatitis C. This was a double-blind, placebo-controlled, multiple ascending dose trial. Key qualification criteria to be included in the trial included adults ages 18 to 65, body mass index of 19 to 35. All patients were required to be treatment naive with a viral load greater than 100,000 IUs per mil without evidence of cirrhosis. Each cohort treated 10 patients with active agent and 2 patients with placebo for a total of 3 days under fasted conditions. Safety was followed for a total of 14 days while resistance was followed for up to 48 weeks. There were a total of 5 cohorts of genotype 1A patients treated at doses ranging from 1 mg to 90 mg a day. There was a single cohort of genotype 1B patients treated with a daily dose of 10 mg. For each cohort, safety, PK, and antiviral efficacy were evaluated. The trial treated a total of 72 patients, three quarters of these patients were men, the mean BMI was 27, and the mean baseline viral load was about 6.5 logs. The most common adverse event was headache, however, there was no dose dependency to the severity or frequency of adverse events. Evaluation of the PK demonstrated dose proportionality and the half-life supported once daily dosing. The overall antiviral activity at doses ranging from 3 mg to 90 mg showed a 3.1 to 3.3 log decline in HCV RNA. Comparing the individual viral decay curves of the 30 mg dose to the 90 mg dose in genotype 1A patients, it was seen that there was less variability observed in the 90 mg dose with a narrower range of viral reductions. This suggested that the 90 mg dose may be a more effective dose across diverse patient populations. The individual viral decay curves also demonstrated a single subject both in the 30 mg dose and the 90 mg dose with an outlying result with a much smaller HCV RNA decline than other members of the cohort. These two subjects were shown to have baseline resistant variants that precluded a response similar to the other patients exposed to the same dose of GS5885. As we think about resistant variants, it can be noted that there was a recent presentation at a pausal by Wong and colleagues that suggested that the 30 mg dose and the 90 mg dose of GS5885 was equally able to suppress wild-type virus. However, the 90 mg dose was more potent than the 30 mg dose against some of the more common resistant polymorphisms, suggesting that the 90 mg dose is the more likely dose to have optimal effectiveness in future treatment regimens. When we turn our attention to how GS5885 is used in an all-oral combination therapy, we can review a recent interim analysis from a GS5885 containing all-oral interferon-free regimen that was presented at EASL by Sulkowski and colleagues. This trial studied a four-drug regimen of GS9451, which is a protease inhibitor, GS5885, the NS5A inhibitor, GS9190, a non-nucleoside polymerase inhibitor, and, and ribavirin. Treatment-naive, non-serotic genotype 1 patients were treated in this trial with GS5885 at doses of either 30 or 90 milligrams daily in combination with GS9451, GS9190, and weight-based ribavirin. Patients who did not achieve an HCV RNA below the limit of quantification at week 2 were offered rescue therapy with the addition of pegulated interferon. Patients who received a 90 mg dose of GS5885 and who were below the limit of quantification at week 2 and continued to be below the limit of quantification at week 10 were then randomized at week 12 to either stop all therapy at week 12 or continue for a total duration of 24 weeks of therapy. This trial enrolled 140 patients who were randomized in a 2 to 1 fashion to GS5885 at doses of either 90 mg or 30 mg in this four drug regimen. Looking at the results in the GS5885 90 mg arm, 79% of subjects were below the limit of quantification at week 2, while in the 30 mg arm, 72% of the subjects were below the limit of quantification at week 2. 
This comparable rate of becoming negative at week two suggested that these two doses are comparable at rapidly suppressing wild type. However, virologic breakthrough was seen more frequently in the 30 milligram dose compared to the 90 milligram dose. There was also lower rates of breakthrough seen in patients who were genotype 1B and for patients who had IL-28B genotype CC. When breakthrough occurred, it occurred with multiple DAA resistance. Of these patients achieving HCV RNA below the limit of quantification at week two, there were very high rates of sustained viral response seen in this interim analysis. With the elimination of interferon, there was no dose-dependent adverse events comparing the 30 to the 90 milligram dose, and there were no significant safety signals to date. In general, GS5885 has now been used in more than 1,000 patients across its Phase II program, and GS5885 at a dose of 90 mg a day is likely to be pushed forward in combination with other direct-acting antivirals for the treatment of genotype 1 chronic hepatitis C.